Today we're going to observe World of Rank and Blissey and see why this Pokemon is so strong and how the world best player does it. Let's go. Hey, you guys, how's everyone doing? This is your guy Assassin Dave. Welcome back to Team 4 and Famous Family again. And this is your guy Assassin Dave. Today we're gonna to observe the world best Blissey player, AK Bruv TV. And this is gonna be incredibly fun for me because Blissey is such a popular Pokemon. In fact, I checked the Pokemon Unite API. This Pokemon has risen to the number one most popular must-pick Pokemon in the last week. And that is absolutely insane. So I thought I'd make a video about Blissey. I don't usually make video about defenders, but this Pokemon is just built different in the current meta. Due to the lack of body barriers, Blissey actually gave you the pre-body barrier nerf body barrier shield. And it's absolutely insane. And on top of that, once Blissey gets to level 4, you get your safeguard. You can actually make your teammates immune to quad control. Now, I made a video talk about why the recent update with the Blissey changes i thought it's a nerf on blissey is because in competitive environment in the most highest level gameplay most blissey still runs the shield but in today's game we're gonna see some soft boil plus egg bomb blissey and it's gonna be quite fun because from the title of the video you're gonna see this blissey from the rank one player do a hundred thousand heal now i've seen people do over two hundred thousand heal something as absurd as that and that is absolutely insane you can see the enemy team played by overlord and the curtain or whatever they are actually running the other blissey the safeguard blissey that allows them to be completely immune to quality control completely immune to the egg bomb and all that i think is better you can see this blissey just activate the safeguard and start running in because he's not really afraid of anything and especially this work really well with hoopa when Hoopa does like a portal on the ground, and a lot of people tend to hit the enemy who was standing on the portal trying to go back. But if you have a Blissey who gives you safeguard, all of a sudden your opposition can't really stop you from the recall. You get some guaranteed recalling, which is really, really good. But right here though, you can see Brub TV with the soft boil and egg bomb Blissey. The benefit of this is gonna have upward of seven different bombs or seven different heals in one team fight because the cooldown is so short now with the recent changes. So it's actually really fun. It's just that in competitive setting, we still gonna see majority of the Blissey run with the safeguard which give you immunity to quad control and a huge ass shield which is absolutely insane now obviously big shout out to world rankers for posting this video so we get a chance to take a look at a world best Blissey player and if you're interested in the rank one gameplay you can obviously go check out her channel with the link in description so let's take a look right here because the curtain with the safeguard he's gonna go up and start using egg bomb to securing the all the small small bees and obviously all attack from Blissey hurts really 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 hard you know with the big ass slap so you can see the safeguard a allows him to get away from the Alona Ninetail quad control. And I guess that's the reason why the orange team, should I say the red team, chose to uh, for the safeguard because the A9 and the Blissey. So right here, you can see both Absol are doing a lot of damage to each other, but it turned out the Absol on the purple side, on the blue side, on the, or should I say purple side, is a little bit stronger. And now Brav coming back with a lot more Egg Bomb and heal. And I assume he's gonna go ahead and heal up Galatu. And sure enough, the heal comes in. Absolutely doesn't go back to full HP. You know, this is the win when Blissey have too many shields, too much egg bombs, too much damage. All right here, doing a little bit more, but obviously no one can stop the quad control. But the Brub is going to go there and it's through all oh, the Unite combo, just absolutely demolish the entire team. A oh, beautiful, beautiful Unite on top of this incredible dog to allow them to completely eliminate the entire enemy defense and then throwing all their points. Got three, three more KOs, put absolute level 11. Really, really far ahead right now. Oh, a lot more heal for the Hoopa right here, but Hoopa doesn't jump in. A little 90 also uses Unite. They're really far ahead, level 10 compared to level 7. Onto that Venusaur. I'm gonna sort one more time. They're gonna be a 3v3 wipe, 3 2 0 wipe on the bottom side. So, right now, Purple Side are really far ahead. They're still not breaking bottom tier 1 yet because they want to get as much farm as possible, knowing that they're so far ahead. The enemy Hoopa played by Overlord is still on level 7, where you can see the level 9 Hoopa. Oh, dropping very low. Have to use the XP to get himself away. The healing is coming up, but you can see the healing is not really enough to uh, to save them. I think the only reason why the Hoopa was able to get away was because X speed and obviously on top of you have a little bit of heal. See, the thing about Soft Boil is when you use Soft Boil on Blissey, you're not only healing one person, you can always use Soft Boil onto your teammates and it's gonna heal that teammate and Blissey at the same time. So that's what Brub is doing. He's healing two targets at the same time. He's not scoring because he didn't have score shield and obviously he has Soft Boil. But again, he's doing a lot of heal and that's what we're here for, right? Again, healing himself. He could have healed the Hoopa right here. If he healed the Hoopa, Hoopa's gonna get some heal and Brub's gonna get some heal. The soft boil heals two targets at the same time. So right now, Dunpai is available. And then 
Ooh, just getting that Unite back, I believe. Scoring one point doesn't really do much, but it does do... Personally, for Bruv, it's gonna get 10% of Unite back every time you score. So with XP, it's gonna run really, really fast. But with Safeguard, the other Hoopa is gonna be uninterrupted. But you can see Overlord is still on level 8, not even level 9. And leveraging the level advantage, Purple Team just running them down right now. Level 11, 10, 13, 12, and 12. I'll come to the other side, 8, 8, 8. Oh my goodness. On average, we're gonna have a 3-level deficit. You know, um, from the orange team, they're just seeing a huge disadvantage right here. Bruv is gonna stay in the front, doing a lot of soft boy, a lot of bombs, and then just knocking everybody back. They're definitely doing a fun build right here. This game is particularly interesting because it doesn't really show their how to play competitively. Because in competitive environment, Bruv's definitely 100% gonna go with safeguard. The soft boil, you can see that it's good, but they're getting knocked up not over and over again. When you play against a more com uh, coordinated team, you this kind of like crawl control will be heavily punished. Right, imagine you have a soft boil and then the other side just have safeguarder run you down. Your egg bomb didn't work, your quad didn't work, your nine tail didn't work, and they can just CC your uh, carries and straight up just eliminate them from the AO's island. Or should I say, vaporize them from the AO's island. Sometimes you might not have enough time to heal. The thing about the healing is it's decent, but it's not instantaneous. So it, it's really good for a long sustained team fight and then more of a fun build. But overall, like consider how many quad control available in the game right now. I do believe safeguard is just a 10,000 times better skill. So, Bruv does get a 22 point score on the top side. Beautifully done. This is going to help him get the Unite back at a Zatos fight two in 50 seconds. So, right here, it does seem that other Lucario want to OD some points. Because if you get a 1k right now, that's a lot of catch-up experience. So, you understand why they want to do that. But obviously, Epso is just way too far behind. And in front of Blissey, if you're a speedster, you're going in one by one. It's just not enough. And sure enough, that's not enough. Right? They were, they were not able to do enough damage right here to get some uh, uh, decent, should I say, decent damage out from the end enemy abso from the orange abso okay 18 seconds to zap those fight let's see what brub is doing right here he's getting some vision yeah way too tanky the abso is doing like negative damage you can see abso on level 12 and the blister right here from brub tv is almost level 14 just show the team advantage they're having and with advantage that they're having right now they're gonna go ahead and defend this unite comes in oh my goodness where did the abs where did the Venusaur even go and that's the power of the blissey uh when they were ahead you know with the Unite until Lucario to demolish, but here it's still a 50-50 flip. The thing about it is right here, even if, oh, Blissey actually got the Zapdos. Even if Blissey lost the Zapdos, even their team just completely lost this. The interesting thing here is th they will probably still win the game. And the reason why they can win the game right here is because they already OD'd a lot of people. They already killed a lot of people. So even if they lost the Zapdos, the, the orange team won't have enough people to go score. So overall, like you can see Bruv is staying in a really, really good positioning relative to his team in this particular game. He's constantly throwing the egg bombs, constantly throwing the soft boil. Now, something that can be improved on is obviously always look to throw the soft boil onto your teammates this way it heals both the blissey and your teammate at the same time for those who do not know and then bruv you know i think being one of the uh, safeguard players you know this game wasn't able to optimize the soft boil but overall like it's a pretty decent gameplay because the most important thing for you when you play a support like blissey is positioning right you got to position yourself well enough where you're not getting yourself in a lot of trouble you're also tanking damage when it's necessary and you're also healing your teammates at the same time and that's exactly what Bob did especially those unite moves the first unite on a bottom tier one second unite on tier two area and the third unite in the zapdos pit in the little alleyway, completely demolishing the Senpai Jazz on the Venusaur. That was beautifully executed from Bruv over there. So overall, guys, what do y'all think about this gameplay? Is your team adopting Blissey, or are you learning from Team Form Famous and using Blastoise or Quessel as your defender? Let me know in the comment section, and don't forget to join us on our daily live streams so you can witness all this type of action live and see FF prepare for the World Originals. So with that, guys, I said I'm signing off. If you enjoyed this episode, check out another one with a thumbnail right here. Just for the thrill of it.